Hi, I'm Command Sergeant Major Mario Miranda. I am the CSM for the 411th Civil Affairs Battalion. I've served well, going on 33 years in the Army Reserve. I always had a fondness for soldiers and people in uniform. My father served in two different armies. Uh, the country that he was from, Ecuador, he had to serve when he was 18. And then when he came to the U.S., he served in the Army. Likewise, my brother served in the U.S. Army. So I grew up with some of that around me. And then uh, when I was in high school, I made the decision that I wanted to serve as well. I definitely think my proudest accomplishment is attaining Command Sergeant Major. When I first came in, it was not attainable. My, I'm a 68 Quebec, which is a pharmacy specialist. And when I first came in, the highest rank I could achieve was E7. And then the military, the Army restructured the hospitals and they put an E8 slot in that position. So then I was able to get E8 and I was an E for a long time and did not think that I was actually going to be selected for the academy and then it just ended up happening so I it definitely was something that uh, I, I would say at this point in time is my, my proudest moment. As a CSM I'm the senior enlisted advisor to the battalion commander so my role is to address issues and concerns of the soldiers within a battalion and also advise the commander of any issues uh, throughout the battalion. I also have to address standards within the battalion, make sure that everyone's upholding the standards and not creating new standards. But the big part of it is to have that relationship with the battalion commander so that we have the ability to have a candid conversation. There's times when it's human nature where we may not agree but it's always best that we know each other's perspective and why uh, that may happen. But uh, so far it's been a great experience with this unit. Some of the positive takeaways would be I'm more of an introvert and because of being this long in the military, my being able to speak to others or in large groups have definitely helped me develop that. When I first got in, I saw a senior NCO that was in the back of the formation and I thought to myself that that's where I wanted to be was just behind the formation, not in front of everyone. But lo and behold, as I uh, continued on in, um, in the reserves, more and more I was being put up in front of people. I became a squad leader and then one morning I showed up to drill and I was assigned as the platoon sergeant. And then from there I became an HHC uh, a detachment sergeant and from there it was the first sergeant. Roles kept continuing where more and more I was put up in front of people and then with greater responsibility so I think that's the biggest takeaway I've, I've gotten from the reserves. My family. I cherish the moments that I have with them. I think at times we take for granted our time here and spending it with them. So that's, that's definitely one of the big things is them and their support having those, those moments. I do have some very uh, close friends of mine that uh, just over time we've built this bond. When one of us needs one another, we're there for each other regardless of, of the situation. They're always there to support me when I need them. Even if I don't see them regularly, um, they always come through when needed. I would say I try not to depend on anything necessarily. I'm a minimalist, put it that way. I don't need to go out and buy fancy things or have the best of something. We get issued as enlisted officers and have to buy the uniforms, have to buy all that. The running joke is, is that, well, this is what I've been issued. I don't need to go out and spend money on it. If they wanted me to have it, they would have given it to me. When I was even at the academy, instead of going out and furnishing the apartment that I was in, uh, for, for a little while I just slept on the floor. Or uh, towards the end, even a friend of mine, I borrowed a, a mattress from him.
but I didn't go out and buy a TV or I didn't go out and buy anything really. I just sort of lived in this semi-empty apartment <laughs> for a year. I think my favorite season is the fall and it's because of how the change in the, in the scenery, especially the, around here in the New England area, the uh, foliage, I think it's beautiful to go hiking and just look at the different colors from, uh, from a broad view. Like I've been in Texas, uh, lived there for on and off like a couple years. And when you're, in, especially in El Paso, there's not a lot of vibrant colors. And when you're there for that long and then you come back, it's actually a shock to see all the colors. It's, it's just like when you deploy when, to like Iraq and you're used to just seeing sand and dirt and just brown and then you come back and your senses it's a sensory overload because now you see all this green um, and different shades of green and especially during the fall it's reds greens oranges browns it's it's everything uh, i also like the temperature where it's not too hot and not too cold waking up to like a cool crisp air is very uh nice and not only that is like having a campfire or a bonfire at night when it's a little crisp out, not too cold, but enough that you could have a warm fire. So that fall would be my favorite season. What a home is, and I take this actually from a two star, is building the three ships, right? You have friendships, relationships, and partnerships. And I think throughout like my military career, I've noticed that that's important to try and think about that sometimes when you say things or do things is how it'll affect you know that those three ships right because I mean there's times when especially uh, in this position where it's easy to just go off the hook and just yell at somebody um, but it's always to take that next step forward or beyond and say well why did that individual do that? Maybe they're, they're struggling with something, or why didn't they not accomplish that? Maybe in their life right now, there's struggles or something's going on that I'm not aware of. And even though, from my perspective, um, things didn't get done, there's gotta be a reason why.